Hello everyone, my name is Asisi Pombindilele and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be answering 20 grade 9 natural sciences, multiple choice questions based on strength 2, which is meta and materials. This is um, basically content that is covered in term 2. So the multiple choice questions that we are going to look at, guys, are based on the topics that are indicated on the screen, which is compounds, chemical reactions, reactions of metals with oxygen, reaction of non-metals with oxygen, acids and bases, and pH, and also reactions of acids with bases. Now, guys, I need to mention that these multiple choice questions are lower order questions which are basically there to check your understanding and all you need in order for you to answer these questions is to just remember content knowledge um, and try and remember what a compound is element reactions and all of that in order for you to answer so i consider them to be very basic questions so this is obviously a worksheet it's not an exam these are basic questions and you may use these questions to check your understanding to basically check if you understand the different topics and subtopics that you have covered in class. So with, without wasting time, sorry, without wasting time, please make sure that you have a pen and a paper, guys, so that you try and attempt this, this, this questions before I mention the answers. And also feel free to pause the video here and there in order for you to try and answer before um, I shout out or I mention the answer shout out or mention the answer <laughs> all right um let's look at the first question which of the following is a compound now you obviously just need to remember what a compound is which is basically a substance that is formed when two or more different chemical elements are chemically bonded together so we are looking at two or more elements and they need to be different and they would need to be chemically bonded all right so the correct answer here out of the options that we're given oxygen sodium chloride um, nitrogen and copper so this is obviously one element one element so this two is just showing us that this is a diatomic element this is also one element and um, this two is showing us that this is a di diatomic element so what we have in here for sodium chloride um, it's two elements remember a compound we're looking at two or more different elements and they need to be chemically bonded okay so this is element one which is sodium and element two which is uh, chlorine sorry which is chlorine so the correct answer here is B Two. what is a chemical reaction um, is it a is it a a change that forms new substances is it a physical change of state is it a mixing of substances without any change or is it ev evaporation of water the answer for question two is a this is a change that forms new substances so in a chemical reaction that's when we will have reactants and products so reactants is basically the elements that will react together in order for us to form a new substance then question three sorry guys i will try and break down um some questions and explain some answers but obviously i don't want the video to be way too long so i won't explain all the questions if i feel like the question is straightforward and the answer is quite easy to get i will not explain much but if you definitely need me to to expand on my explanation for certain subtopics please just indicate in the comment section and i will gladly do that all right question three which metal Remember, we have metals, uh, non-metals, and semi-metals, but now here they're asking us about a metal. Which metal reacts with oxygen to form a white powder? Is it zinc? Is it iron, magnesium, or is it copper? The answer for three is definitely magnesium, so that is C. What is the product? We're asking you about the product, the end product, which is the uh, new substance that is formed when iron reacts with oxygen so these are the two reactants so these are the two reactants they are asking about the product that will be formed is it iron chloride iron oxide iron carbonate or 
iron sulfate. This is easy iron. Iron there it is oxygen. It becomes oxide when um, a metal reacts with oxygen. So that will be iron oxide. So B is the correct answer. Definitely not chloride unless there was chlorine here, carbonate, unless there was carbon there, sulfate, unless there was sulfur. Right, five, which non-metal, now they're asking us about non-metals, okay? Which non-metal uh, reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide? Which non-metal reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide? Now, in this case, carbon dioxide is the product, and oxygen with the non-metal that they are asking you here are reactants. So in this case, we are given oxygen. That means oxygen will need to react with this non-metal in order to form carbon dioxide. And the non-metal is what? C. Do you get it, class? Yes, ma'am. All right. Let's move to the next question. <laughs> okay. Um, question six. Yes, guys. We must, we must laugh about these things. We must have fun while we're learning. No? I'm not boring, so please, you must know that when you watch my channel, you're going to laugh here and there. All right. Six, um, what is the general word equation? They are asking us about the general word, word equation for a metal reacting with oxygen. Is it metal with oxygen, metal oxide, or whoa, metal oxygen, metal hydroxide, metal water, Metal oxide, metal I. This is easy. Word equation when a metal reacts with oxygen. So obviously we'll look at these two options first. So we are eliminating these two because they're saying metal and oxygen. So nothing about water and nothing about an X acid, right? Then uh, we then look at these two options now. Uh, do we get a metal oxide or metal hydroxide? It is a metal oxide, not hydro. We're not talking about um hydrogen here we didn't talk we didn't mention anything about hydrogen uh and oxygen we're just specifically talking about metals and oxygen so the answer is a sulfur reacts with oxygen to form what now you already understand you already understand you already understand how to get this right seven is a sulfur dioxide Sulfur reacts with oxygen, it will form a sulfur dioxide, not a chloride, definitely not a hydroxide, and definitely not a trioxide. It will be, I just thought I need to explain this, it will be a dioxide, guys, because of the SO2 at the end. So we'll have this reaction as sulfur reacting with oxygen, since it's a diatomic um, element, then we have SO2. So dioxide, all right. Which of the following is a base? Um, is it A, hydrochloric acid, sodium hydroxide, sulfuric acid, or carbon dioxide, sodium hydroxide? All right, and I'll write you the chemical formula now. Mm, Na for sodium hydroxide, that would be OH, all right. Okay, then question nine. We're almost halfway, guys. We're almost halfway. Almost the acids taste. Do they taste sweet, bitter, sour, or salty? Uh, we all know. It's definitely sour. What is the pH of a neutral solution? pH of a neutral solution. Remember pH scale. Then you'll have your one in the middle, seven. Then you'll have your 14. Then we talk about acidity and alkalinity, right? The neutral, ah, this one is easy. Neutral number 10 is obviously B. Number 11, a solution with a pH of 3. So it will be somewhere here. A pH of 3, is it um, a strongly acidic one, weakly acidic, neutral, or strongly basic? It is definitely strongly acidic. Right. Uh, which indicator turns red in an acid? Which indicator turns red in an acid? Uh, that would be litmus paper. 
What happens when an acid reacts with the base? What happens when an acid reacts with the base? What do we get? Uh, a salt and water. Salts and water. Water. Drunken spirit water. 14. Which of the following is a product? Which of the following is a product when hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium hydroxide? Which of the following is a product when hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium hydroxide? Ah! Yo, yo, yo. Let's look at the chemical reaction, guys. Let us look at the chemical reaction. Let's look at the reaction, guys. We are having a hydro hydrochloric acid, which is HCl, and it is reacting with sodium hydroxide, that is NaOH. Um, and the product that we'll get here is H2O plus NaCl. Right, C L C L H H H O N A. Okay, cool. Yeah, obviously there's a lot of information that you need to understand in order for you to be able to to get these products. But let's see. So we are given the options. Is it water and hydrogen? No. Is it sodium chloride and hydrogen? No. Is it sodium chloride and water? Yes. There is water and there is the salt. Right. Okay. 15, uh, which of the following has a high pH? Is it the vinegar, lemon juice, soap solution, or orange juice? 15, that is C. Okay. Uh, which gas is produced when a metal reacts with an acid? I think we had a similar question. We had a similar question, oh, but now... Oh, which gas? Which gas uh, is produced when a metal reacts with an acid? For sixteen, we are having the hydrogen as the gas produced. Which of the following is not a chemical reaction? Seventeen. That is B. Not a chemical reaction. Dissolving sugar in water. That's not a chemical reaction. Everything else, I guess it is. Uh, we're almost done. Let's hang in there. Magnesium reacting with oxygen. What is the product? So these two are the reactants. They are asking you about the product. Uh, this is easy. That will obviously be B. Okay. What is the pH range for a strong base? Uh, that is D. Strong base. Definitely. Uh, last one. Which word best describes an acid reacting with a base is it combustion neutralization decomposition or displacement definitely neutralization all right thank you so much guys um let me know in the comment section how many you got correct um so yes please do let me know in the comment section and remember to like this video guys if you haven't already share it with your classmates and your schoolmates um, comment down below. Let me know which specific question papers or topics and question papers that you'd like me to answer and cover with you guys. And I will gladly record that video and post for you. Please also subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. All the best with your test and exam. Bye.